The North East Corridor Commission has raised a 15-year rail development plan of the North East Corridor. The plan covers nearly 150 projects and is worth around about 117 billion US dollars. The entities involved in the plan's development include the state governments of the North East, the federal government, the eight commuter rail agencies and Amtrak, the government-owned body of commuter rail in the USA. The plan aims to provide connections to new markets as well as minimise travel times between communities. Its implementation will also result in railroad safety and reliability, along with an increase in services and a decrease in carbon emissions. The Commission stated that the funding will be covered between the federal government and the state governments. The Commission states that the plan is important due to the fact it is a long-term plan instead of shorter-term plans. The NJ Trans Transit president said the corridor supports more than 800,000 daily passenger trips between Greater Washington DC and the Boston regions, and it is also one of the most profitable routes for Amtrak. Once executed, the plan will result in enhanced mobility and rail connections in the Northeast Corridor. Regular Amtrak services will increase a witness of 33% and the services for the numerous railroad companies will also be doubled. The Commission also focuses on continuing the minimisation of greenhouse gas emissions, which on the route are currently equivalent to 2.9 million car trips between New York and Los Angeles annually. Around 1.7 million new job opportunities over 15 years are expected to be created during the execution of this plan. For anyone that was excited about the Midlands Rail Hub video coming out today, I'm sorry but it's been pushed back to tomorrow due to the fact that this is a bigger project altogether. 